that's that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, we're we're, we're done. Well, hello there. Today we're bringing you the sequel of what was perhaps my most groundbreaking experiment of all time. It was a video I posted two years ago called ASMR Pain Gauntlet Experiment, where I attempted to find out if people could relax and fall asleep while listening and seeing someone in excruciating pain. While our take on ASMR was certainly unconventional, I believe we were successful in making people relax. So much so that when I posted shorts from that video, it got millions of views on multiple platforms. I am pretty successful. But that success caused people to want a sequel. So I once again will be enduring a gauntlet of increasingly painful weapons. We also bought this awesome bineural microphone. If you're wearing headphones, we'll give you the illusion that you're here with me in this garage. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the soothing sounds of pain. You have up first for this ASMR pain call it. We have a mouse trap. Very simple in design, but lethal to small rodents. Also kind of uncomfortable to have thrown at your face. Anyways, I figure I will just put my finger in this to start this video off. And I'm gonna do it in your right ear. Oh. That was a nice little bump. That hit my fingernail. And I, 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 will, I can see how it kills mice. But I just snaps your poor little neck. If it can hurt my fingernail, their neck don't stand a chance. Mark, my other finger, please. Now this is going like above their heads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watch your volume, please. My bad. Yeah. You can't be laughing with that many decibels. People are trying to fall asleep here. Okay. I like to speak in capital. Not in this video, you're not. Damn it. This is a very unexplored territory in the ASMR sphere, okay? Not many people can get the tingles pain would bring. You know what isn't unexplored? My a No, that, that's unexplored. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, what I want you to do right now is get one more mousetrap, and we're going to place it on my nose. So, I will stick my large nose out like this. Go. <laughs> oh. I feel like my whisper's gonna be a little bit nasally now. <laughs> my eyes are watering a little. Huh? I didn't say to pull it off. Well, we're off to a relaxing start. <laughs> the thing we have next, though, is sure to get the tingles running into your head and down your spine. Let's uh, go get that out. this bubble wrap inside of it are clay pigeons. With these clay pigeons, I'm going to have Mark sling them at my back. This channel is all about safety, so I got a helmet on. Um, Mark is going to hit me from the rear here, as you can see him back there. Uh, Mark, give it a nice fling into my back. That was my leg. You hit me in the leg. That was, uh, that went completely wrong. Get another one. I'm taking the lab coat off for this. It's how dedicated I am to the science. Go ahead, Mark. I just cleaned this garage. I just swept it up and I just got clay everywhere now. Third, third time's the charm. <laughs> this will be the one. Lower your voice. <laughs> Lower your voice. Your 
give me that. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, you hit me in the side and arm. Let's get a different angle on this. I'm in your left ear. Jake is primed to throw. Let her rip, Jake. <laughs> There was a slight miss there. Let her rip. Oh, How's it look? I cut you. You cut me? A little bit. Yeah. Hold on, Mark. Just throw one flat at my back. Yeah, we both do. Okay. Ah. Yeah, that sounded good. I, I like the sound of that. And you know what's nice? We're going to hear a nice crunching sound for the rest of this. <laughs> okay, we're going to take five to sweep up the clay. So I'm sure you're curious about the damage that was done to me. First, there was this on my arm right there. As you can see, it uh, drew some data. And then we'll take a little look at my back. I've been told it uh, drew a little bit of blood, as in data when I say that. But I think the clay breaking really brought the tingles through our body. And we're now slowing down, entering a stage of where we are going to fall asleep. Which is crazy, because this video is going to go on for at least another 10 minutes. Honestly, you just woke me up. <laughs> Before we continue with the experiment, we're going to have a quick sensory break with Q-tips. We'll clean your ears out. Uh, you like that? Oh, I know you like that. Who doesn't like their ears being into it. <laughs> Jumping jubilias. Uh, you put some force on that one. Yeah, I, I just... You know what? I'm, I'm going to regret saying this, but give me one to the back. The upper back, please. <laughs> one more, please. I do like the sound of it, though. It sounds like a childhood. Whoa. Oh, sorry. It sounds like what? A childhood. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yes. In the back. When does pain become pleasure? Pain has always been pleasure. Sick. For some weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Not this guy. Pain is science for me. Okay, this is a scientific experiment. And if you think otherwise, you're the weird one. Not me, the one getting hurt with all these thousands of dollars of cameras and recording equipment. I'm completely normal. Hardest you can do, Mark. Then we're moving on. That was pretty good. Let's take a look at the data. Looks good. You mother... If 
I didn't have the viewer's ears right in front of me, I would attack you right now. Now you we switched roles. <laughs> This whole garage is filled with weapons. Also, I don't know why I have this one out. This seems like a bad one to do. We'll get around to it. We'll get around to it. Up next, a very intimidating and painful item. A cat of nine tails. Not only is it a cat of nine tails, it is perhaps the most lethal cat of nine tails ever created. See how it has these balls on the end of it? And I'll tell you what, these balls are pretty bad. Just so you know how bad they are, let me give you a sneak peek of the sound. Do you like that sound? Well, you're going to like that sound a little bit better when it's getting droven into my back. Alright, Mark. Give me 50% power into the upper back, and for the love of God, donate my spine. Um, you didn't hit my spine, so good job, but I feel like my, you kind of hit like some bone, so I don't know, some bone up there got made contact. Yeah, maybe get some muscle to cover your bone and it wouldn't be a problem. That was pretty rude, but I'm not going to linger on it, because I'm above rude remarks. Also doesn't like her own bone because you got none. Little the only thing that's bitchy around here are your whispers, okay? You can bring it up at least two decibels. It's my first time, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, Mark. One more whip from the cat of nine tails. Let's bring that up to 70% power. <clears throat> Again. Oh! One more time. Oh. Ah. Welcome to the Nuisance Jones is Dead show. I'm alive. That was blasphemy from him. A little out of breath, I'll be honest. Kind of hit me in the ribs there. How hard would you say that was, Mark? Uh, about 60. Well, that's weird, because I asked for 70, I believe. So, give me one more at 75. I asked for 50, but okay. No, I no, I didn't. I think I had... Okay, you know what? I don't remember. A lot of, a lot of things have happened. I'm confused. <clears throat> um... And now on to another sensory break. Hello there. This is something I've wanted to try for a little while. It's a little sensory finger brush. I bet that's pretty amazing. Don't pull my armpit hair, please. <laughs> swing into my right quad. This is for no reaction. I just got all the way Okay. I won't. 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 I won't.
before we carry on, Mark, I want one more swing with that sack of quarters. Sack, sock of quarters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's what I asked for. <laughs> and now, on to the next item that I hear coming right now. What do you got there, Mark? Flail. 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 Uh, you can see it here. This is actually a decorative one, but it is quite hefty. And it's less spikes on it. You can hear it has quite a lot of heft and a nice metallic sound. We're going to swing this into my leg and enjoy the relaxing sounds that come out of my mouth. All right, Mark. I'm thinking you give me a 50% power swing into the side of my leg when I say, for Jerusalem, which I just said it, but... <laughs> I did. And that, you know what? That was my fault. We can do it like 25% harder than you just did for Jerusalem. Hit the chair a little bit there. F it. Let's do 25% harder for Jerusalem. about how good that sounded made me fall asleep which is very unprofessional of me since I'm here to make you all fall asleep you know what Mark that was a good hit and that's what I want again for Jerusalem <laughs> oh that's that's not good that's not good yeah we're, we're, we're done we're probably done with that one I'm gonna call it a wrap on that that right there. Holy moly! Oh wow! We probably should get some band aids. That's yeah, that's <laughs> yikes! Uh, my God! Why did we use that? Yeah, that wasn't smart. <laughs> we um. Sensory break. <laughs> yep. Moving on to our next sensory break. For this next sensory break, we got something special. Mark will be playing the finger piano, and I will be. sneaking up behind you in excruciating pain that puts you to a strange sleep. You're sleeping now. Why 
you so sexual? What? No, no, I'm like, I'm like an enchantress, but en enchanter, enchanter. That sounds like a sex whisper. No, 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 listen. This last and rake will put the rest of people that are asleep right now asleep. This is the, the finishing blow. Brown knows all about this. Snap. I'm gonna break the sound barrier. Please, please, please. I got a bleeding. I'm bleeding. I just spread some blood down your leg. Okay, okay do that. <laughs> <sighs> sleep now. I think this was a pretty successful experiment. Um, I don't see how you couldn't be relaxed at this point. <laughs> so, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> and don't forget to like the video if you are still awake, which would be weird. So, oh. We'll be fine.